I'm showing you how to get Alpine Client for Minecraft 1.21. Get Alpine Client, you want to head over to their official website, alpineclient.com. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that, since you can find this client there together actually with a bunch of other ones just like it. Anyways, here on their website, you simply want to click on this white download now button, choose your operating system, then click on that button right over there, and the download will automatically start. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have the Alpine Client set up, and I can simply double click on this just like so, and that is going to open up. You can then click on Next, 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 and then on Install. It's going to happen pretty fast, and then we can click on Finish right over here, and that's actually automatically also going to open up Alpine Client for you. Now, in my downloads over here, all I have is the actual setup or installer, and we don't need this anymore, so if you want, you can delete that. So here I have the Alpine Client Launcher. You'll automatically be put in this News tab over here, but you can also find a Settings tab, as well as a Mods area, which I won't get into too much right now, but basically, this simply allows you to drag mods right into here instead of having to look up the Mods folder. Then there's a Partners, Store, and About area as well. Anyways, we can get right to it. In the bottom over here, there is the Launch option. I recommend going into the Settings cog, and you'll see all of the possible versions. As you can see, this client is still in development, and more versions will be added as time goes on. However, right now, as you can see, they do have 1.21 available. 1.21.3 hasn't been put on yet, but that will be released in the near future. As you can see, this does also by default just come with Fabric. You can just select the version you want. In this case, I'm going to be choosing 1.21. And then as you can see, Fabric will automatically be selected. Now, once I've selected that, I can simply click on Launch over here and Minecraft will open up. So I'm here now inside of Minecraft with Alpine Client. You do want to make sure that you are signed in. You need to sign in because Alpine Client needs to verify that you do actually own Minecraft Java Edition. Keep in mind that this is obviously not some sort of cracked Minecraft launcher. So here I am inside of a Minecraft world, as you can see. Going into the escape menu, options, and video settings, you'll automatically note notice that we do have Sodium installed by default. You're also automatically going to be running on fabric as I said earlier which is obviously great anyways to open up this clients menu you want to press on the right shift button on your keyboard that is going to open up all of this you will have already noticed that you do have some GUI elements on your screen already anyways over here in the Alpine client menu you'll find a modules area a social menu which is coming soon, a cosmetics menu, macros area, then there is also a waypoints area, as well as a profiles area, which is also still in development. But as I said, this client is updating, and um, that'll surely come out soon. Anyways, down in the very bottom over here, there is a pretty large general settings area, which I recommend you take a little bit of time to look through. This is definitely a bunch of useful things. Mainly these key bindings area right over here. You can choose to change the menu key bind, which as I said is by default set to right shift. And there's a few more key binds over here as well. One other thing I recommend you take a look at is this game improvement section. This offers a bunch of things that you would usually need to install mods and texture packs for. For example, the fire height, which you can simply reduce using this slider instead of having to install an entire texture pack for that. Anyways, going back to this modules area over here, this is where most of the good stuff happens. These are all of the utilities that this client has. All of the ones that are currently enabled are actually going to just be enabled by default. I'll show you how to use these utilities and I'll take this clear water one as an example. As you can see, I can simply click on that and that is now automatically going to turn on that utility. I could open this back up, click on it once again to turn it off. If I right click on it, then I'm actually going to enter into a customization menu for that specific utility that allows me to completely customize it. As you can see, I can choose the water transparency and set that to whatever I want over there. And of course, depending on the utility, they're all going to have 
different customization options. As you can see, some of them will also have more customization than others. Anyways, there is also a different type of utility than the one like this. And as you can see, there is already a few of these enabled. There's a few things on my screen over here, and those are basically HUD elements. Opening this up, I'll turn on a new HUD element. This is the clock. As you can see, that is going to show up right over there. You can edit this, and in this customization menu, you can choose the entire way in which this utility looks. And closing out of here, as you can see, that is now going to be on my screen. Now, you'll also notice that for some of these HUD elements, they have been selected to only show up when you open up the click GUI area. If you want to edit the location of these, you can click on this button right over here, the edit HUD area. And then basically, you can just select these utilities and move them to wherever you want. Now, say I don't want the clock over here, but I want it to be up here instead. What a great thing about this client is the fact that it has a bunch of grid snapping everywhere. It also snaps to the side of your screen. You guys know I love that. That's that is a must in an HUD editor, and I'm so happy that this client has it. Anyways, say I just wanted to put it up there, I can simply escape out of here, and it's locked up there now. So basically, for the rest, this should all be pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, you can also sort these modules by types, and all the HUD elements are, of course, right over there. Anyways, for the rest, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.